Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about 3D printed gears. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can make on a 3D printer, and one of those things happens to be mechanical objects such as gears. I've got some very small ones, I've got some very fine ones, so you can see if the camera wants to actually focus, how fine the teeth on that are, and these, these little, these very fine ones actually do work. Um, and anyway, so I want to talk about how practical is this, are you really going to be saving yourself any money, and how long do these really last? Um, so I've got a couple real examples. So, um, to start with, so this is one of the gears out of R2-D2, and this is one of the ones for his feet. It's going to be very hard for me to show you on camera how much this is worn. Just try to get a light on it. It's not worn very much. The reason why I replaced this one is because the shaft itself, uh, over time, it got loose and I kept gluing it back and gluing it back, and over time it just stripped itself out and um, stopped running true. So that is one of the big issues with these really small ones, is the issue is trying to attach it to a shaft. Um, usually you use a set screw, but, the, but since these are so small, you really can't get a set screw small enough um, to do so, and usually really small DC motors don't have a flat on their shaft. So really the only way of doing it, or at least what I've done, is uh, roughed up the surface as much as I can with like um, 60 grit or 50 grit sandpaper, um, or maybe even a file, or just putting gouges in the motor shaft to try to give the glue some place to grip, um, and then drilling the hole out in these, uh, when I model the gear and the, the um, 3D modeling software, model it to where there, the, there's just a very small pilot hole and then drill it out to um, quite a bit underneath the diameter of the motor shaft, put some sort of very heavy super glue on there, um, and then force it onto the motor with uh, like vice grips or something like that. Um, that or a bench vise. Um, and that seems to work all right, but over time, anything under a lot of force seems to just strip out. Um, which isn't, a, like I mentioned before, is not a problem with either motors that already have a steel gear um, attached to the shaft from the factory, or bigger bigger motors that have a thicker shaft, where if you're printing a gear this size, um, you could definitely put a set screw in it to fix it to a shaft. Um, this particular one is for was just a project that I was working on, but anyway, this is pretty coarse coarse teeth. This is printed in PETG. By the way, I found that um, either PETG or PLA seem to work just fine for this. All these black gears are PLA, and I can't really tell you uh, that either one wears differently. I think the PETG may last a little bit longer and may be a better candidate, but really, um, if you're going to be buying a special filament for printing gears, probably something like nylon would do best. So. This gear uh, that I replaced, I replaced it with a PETG version, and it's one of the gears in R2-D2's foot, as you can see right there. And uh, like I was mentioning it before, it's pushed onto a small DC motor shaft. Um, so we'll have to see how much that, that wears down. But this is under quite a lot of force, because this little motor is not technically big enough, and it's not geared down enough to drive R2-D2 properly. It works, but it puts a lot of strain on the motor, it draws a lot of current, so gearing this down more would be really good. Um, so we'll have to see how that wears, but my, my personal opinion on the subject is that yes, 3D printing gears is a great idea, and I definitely recommend that you do it, especially since these are so cheap. And if you have a 3D printer anyway, this costs you two or three cents, so if it wears out, why do you care? You can just replace it. So yeah. Long story short, 3D printed gears in themselves, I would probably use nylon or some other similar filament, but regular PLA will work, and as long as they're not under an extreme amount of stress, these are just fine. Um, for most applications, probably going to be use, you're probably going to be printing these for something like me, like an R2-D2 or like a model car or something like that. So to be honest, these are really just fine. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Go print, go 3D print some gears, and have a very nice day.